Um, and I need I want to hear Mike's thoughts on this. Um, because personally for me, I'm concerned. Um, we're gonna talk about Nigeria for about about five or ten minutes. Um, and where this country comes on this list. For me, um, I don't know. Um <laughs> the <laughs> So it's just a section called Nigeria. Is this is this what I, you're doing now, Arnis? <laughs> uh, have some, have some, have a little bit of faith. Not full faith, but a little bit. What's the, what's, what's the but thing is the thing, thing is uh, of Mike is that when someone has faith, it has to be based in something. You know what I mean? It has to be based what? in something. So what's the faith? I mean, you, what's the faith based in, uh, Mike? What's the faith I mean, in? you got some insane players. I can say that at least. Okay. You got Chukweze, Victor okay. Osman. Okay. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, when you look at on paper, like, if this was my national team, like, and I was supporting Nigeria, I would be like, look at the names we got. Like, oh, my God. It doesn't matter who we play against in Africa. We are going to be awesome. But then you actually watch them play, and it's just a completely different story. It's like okay, you yeah. purchase something on Amazon. You receive it at home. And it's nothing like what you saw online. It doesn't work. It's not functioning. And you just want to send it back. That's mm. the Super Eagles right now. Mm. I, I really like your players. I, I really like Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but um, what's your biggest problem with them? Do you, Is it just because of what's happened in the last couple of years that you've lost faith? Or is it something within this team that I, I just don't have faith? Yeah, the coaching the coach is terrible. The coach is a brick. He's the Portuguese the Lampard, by the way. Sorry, he's the yeah, Portuguese I'll, Lampard. That's yeah, why I call yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, so I mean, I, I, I'm almost tempted to even give say that that's even more of a compliment. You know, just give him because at least Lampard, <laughs> that's not a good compliment. It's not. It's not. But at least Lampard got. Uh, you know, uh, was it in his first season? He got Chelsea fourth, I think. You know, yeah, so he, he, he did actually. He, he gave him something. So he did something. What has this coach actually done for? You know, this is this is this is a coach and a coaching staff that looks like that is failing in the African qualifiers for the World Cup miserably right now. A team that's disjointed, that's not together, that as you said on paper looks good. And that's the key thing. It's like you've got a team on paper looks good, but that and at least, you know, uh in the last AFCON tournament, you know, Nigeria actually played. I didn't have high hopes, but when I saw them playing in the group series, like, okay, this team is playing well. They look like together, etc. And but for stupid decision making in the amount of 16. But had they not had that red card that's sending off, you never know. This time I'm like, Nigeria could lose to anybody. Nigeria could lose to anybody. Like it's quite possible that this Nigerian side could get grouped. That's why I'm like, the worst performer, it's it's easily possible that Nigeria could be in that could could be the worst performer. Would yeah, I be you know, surprised? So go on. You know what's funny, RDS? The two rivals could be the worst performers next next to each other. Ghana and Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the, you guys are actually like YG said it perfectly. You guys are actually a common copy of each other. Talented mm. teams, but the FA and the coaching is abysmal. Yeah. It's abysmal. There's no yeah. structure. There's no there's no clear identity. When I watch like Morocco or Ivory Coast or mm. even Senegal, okay, they might not play the best football. But it's organized. They're a unit. They're a team. With Ghana and Nigeria, I just don't see a team. I, I really do. I want to say, look, there would be nothing more happier to me than seeing these teams thrive. Because then that means they're going to thrive in the World Cup. For how, And that's, I think, what football needs is African teams to thrive. Mm. But when you have just imbeciles and just delinquents and just straight up idiots running an FA that are corrupt and don't have the best intentions of the actual mm. game in the country, mm. you're going to pay the price. Yeah. And I can guarantee you, if Nigeria, with the way they started World Cup qualifiers by drawing to Lesotho, like I know I know world maps, I know where Lesotho is, but I can guarantee you, I asked 95% of this world, they don't know where Lesotho is. No. They don't. No. Zimbabwe, who just come off of FIFA ban, they weren't even allowed to play for two years, you're drawing with them? It's shambles. It's so, wild. yeah, I, I, I'm really, I, I would say, like, when I saw that group, I was like, if I'm Nigerian, I would not be happy whatsoever. Because that is I, a group you this is, this is, this is the, this is, again, so this is exactly, this at some point. Pizarro failed in Venezuela. Venezuela. And the NF were like, yeah, why not? Let's hire him. 
that that's 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 the level of inco- that's the level of incompetence. It's not like oh he failed with uh, I don't know France or England or even Portugal, a yeah. team like Port- not Port- even like let's say uh, um uh, I don't know like a mid tier team like uh, Peru, maybe, Austria, or, yeah, uh, Australia or you know New Zealand or something. Like that. You're thinking okay, fine, like Venezuela, you know, and and they're like yeah, okay, sure, come 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 here and and it just. That, that's the reality, you know. So, you know, in though my predictions, I, I predict Nigeria to come second because I didn't want to get Nigeria in a flame bait. Um, I'm going to be real on the live stream and just say that I, if I'm honest, guys, I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure with... Um, but you have to think to yourself, RDS, you have the best... Uh, well, he was voted African Player of the Year. You uh-huh. have that guy. You have to, like, he is what, that guy. What, Michael, what did that guy do in qualifying? What, what did that guy do in qualifying? I, 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 under, I understand. I, I understand, what, what did RDS. What did I do? understand. But maybe, I mean, obviously, like, I was watching the games. Like, he didn't get any service, in my opinion. In, the, in those two games, Ghana mm. just defended really well. They clearly mm. had an I If we just stop Osimhen, none mm. of the, these other guys can do anything. So mm. maybe now... Like, this is his tournament to rise. He didn't play the last one because he obviously, I think he had an orbital fracture, if I remember correctly. That's why he wears the mask. He he missed the last AFCON. So, this is your moment to shine, buddy. I mm. hope he does well because I, I like with the pressure that he's going to be under and with the way Nigeria are going, I, if he fails, oh, there's going to be a lot of criticism of him yeah. for him. I can imagine. So, I hope he does well. But I look at your goalkeeper and defensively, you have good names defensively. But the goalkeeper is a problem. The but goalkeeper, the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper. I mean, the guy wouldn't even start for San Marino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not even joking. And I've watched the San Marino goalkeeper. I the saw only, him here in Finland. The only time I've seen him, I wanted to do good, was when he performed um, against United for Ammonia. I think it was. That's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. Time I've seen. Him, I was like, this guy looks like prime, uh, prime Neuer. With the amount of saves that he was making, it was making like, a lot of saves in that game. I remember. When it was the United fan, I was like, if you could do that for for Nigeria, I'd be like, I'd be like, okay, we've got something. But he, I've, I've never he barely seen... plays for Ammonia. No, of course. So, and and how how is it that a, a, a nation of you know three hundred plus million, Jeez. you know, you, you can't find a goalkeeper, a Nigerian goalkeeper that plays at a semi semi Good level, like, a, like somebody in the Belgian league. Like you could just stack somebody there. It's not yeah. that hard. There's got. To, I I don't get it. You know. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know what happened in the, in the in that way where like okay, yes, we've got tax supports, it's great, but like we we've just completely neglected the defensive and and the goalkeeping department. Like it's just completely, it's just completely <laughs> gone. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> It does. It does. I'm not gonna lie. It does. It does. Oh, it, does. it does. It does. It does. You know. To be honest, like I said, if you want to put on, if there's a betting to put like worst performers or like or or grouped or whatever, um, and probably be um, him. betting for Nigeria, like it's a fit, put some money on it. Put put some money on it. Put some money. Put I don't know how much you have. Put tenner. Put some money on it, and and see what happens. You know. So so would yeah. you? So so would you put the them and Ghana in the worst performer, like both of them, or would you just put the Super Eagles, that's it. I'm going to put them in Ghana as the worst performer. And Damn. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to put them there because potential worst performer, but there because the thing is, is that, I mean, there, there probably are other teams, but the thing is, is that it's the, ex, mm. it's the expectation. Yes. So I don't, ex- so you can't say that, you know, um, um, let's let's just say. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Uh, well, Burkina Faso. Uh, Actually, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. If Tanzania yeah. get grouped. Tanzania or Mar- Mar- Mauritania and say that they, they become bottom of the group, um, for example, and leave and say, oh, well, they were the worst performers. It's like, okay, yeah, but did we really expect them to be able to, you know, um, advance and achieve and play amazing football? No, you didn't, given the resource that they have. You know, whereas for me, worst performer is you playing bad football and you're ex- and given the resources you have, and given the players you have, we expect more from you. Maybe the, yeah. the, the worst should be biggest disappointment. In fact, you know what? That's what I'll change it to. Instead of worst performer, yeah, yeah. it'll be biggest disappointments. That's actually yes. probably a lot more um, uh, apt, because uh, then that'll be biggest dis- disappointment. Yeah, that's it. This is why I've spelled that wrong. 
yeah, now I can comfortably put Ghana and, and Nigeria here. 